When I look at my artwork, it is the perfect marriage between Western and non-Western art, culture, thinking, and, you know, because it takes the Western tradition of realism. And I marry it with beadwork, you know, you can't get more Indian than that. I'm Marcus Ammerman, class of 81, Whitman College. I studied art. I'm a working artist now still and have been for 40 years. This is the living room of my parents' uh, 60s avocado trailer they rent in the town of Kuski, Idaho. I was born in Phoenix, the Indian hospital, and my extended family were Hopi. So my mom's sister, uh, she actually taught me to bead. And in five minutes, you know, the same stitch I used, you know, it's just, it's easy to do. It's just, it takes a lot of doing it. Doing bead work, you know, it's like a sense of well-being, calm, easy going, and you can kind of get just lost in the process, just uh, bead by bead. It can go so fast. Well, I think it's uh, naturally traditional. I think it's like new traditions I can create. These were kind of made with the idea that like this museum uh, where the descendants of these people live, we'll be able to see them. See, this is Fish Hawk, is a Umatilla, and her name was Eat No Meat. And she's a Cayuse, which is their neighbors of the Umatilla. I would call them little beaded wrist paintings. And this was a, a jacket I made for myself. I had a pair of pants with some uh, stripes going down the legs and has some fighter jets there. Fighter jets here. There's, there's some other ones up here. And some Pueblo design guys with a feathered serpent. And then later I added all these uh, fringe with uh, glow-in-the-dark beads. So when you perform and you spin around, it looks like a spiral galaxy. I feel like I've devoted my entire life and career to my people, you know, that this is a way to uh, propel them in whatever way I can and, and educate the world about the beauty of my uh, people. Art in itself is a, a kind of a uh, discipline where you can use liberal arts. It really makes sense, you know, if you're really going to those uh, levels as an artist where you're socio-political or making statements about your times and what you see, then it's good to be versed in history, sociology, psychology, religion, you know, all those kind of work at the same level, but figuring out life, figuring out yourself, uh, and then figuring how to express uh, what you feel about society uh, and yourself or your place in it, you know, in the real world.